So, hello. Uh, I'm going to present the, my internship with Outreach Program. And, well, first of all, I would like to say what is the Outreach Program. So, Outreach Program is a program that aims to include Roma uh, in a worldwide context and a U.S. context that also includes men, Latin or black men, lat or women, Latino, and other minorities in open source world. So it's a program just, uh, to include uh, minorities in open source. And we work remotely with um, some open source company or foundation, actually. Uh, not only Mozilla is included, but um, uh, some other institutions such as Linux Foundation, OpenStack, WordPress. And that's outreach. You can go to outreach.gnome.org to know more about that. Well, I'll talk a little bit about my project. My project was on PyTest HTML. What's that? PyTest HTML is a plugin of PyTest to create PyTest reports on a HTML format. So PyTest is a tool to test um, Python code, and then PyTest HTML creates the reports of this, those tests uh, in HTML format, and it looks more or less like the, that image on the slide show. Um, and the problem we had is that PyTest HTML on Jenkins uh, looked like that before, so we do not have like a good looking for it because of content security policy. So PyTest HTML you use it to to um, use it to do a report on, on a single file, a self-contained report, and then um, it used to look like that on Jenkins because of content security policy. So. Uh, that was the things that was broken because of content security policy. Um, so some essential functionalities to PyTest HTML were done by JavaScript, which is totally disallowed by content security policy of Jenkins, and such as splitting the log and the additional HTML on a different row, because um, as you may see, uh, in the report, the log and the extra that HTML are on different rows, and then we could not do any more that because it was done by GS and GS words the load. And then to solve that, uh, I just created that um, splitting on Python. So when the 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 plugin creates the report, it was already split, so in, not anymore in GS. And also another functionality was the default order of test results, because when we see the results, we see first the failed results, then the X failed, then they skip it, and then pass it are in the last position, but uh, it was done by GS, and then uh, when we have like on Jenkins, you could not see that order anymore. So for doing that, I created a class of the test results and then did a ordered insertion on a table, so on a HTML table. So when the ta in Python code, so when the table was created, it was already ordered. Uh, and some fu functionalities were lost because of self-contained HTML. So we decided uh, when PyTest HTML was created, um, uh, they decided that it, it would be a single file because it would be easier to share the results. But then it was breaking some um, CSP, uh, CSP rules which was CSS that should be it uh, that was in line because it had like only one file for everything. Then the solution was breaking the CSS on another file and then linking it and then the CSS started to work again. 
and we have you lost like handle with handling with images because um, to be a self-contained file we had like base 64 decoded images and they uh, <laughs> they're not important as a rope there but <laughs> they were disallowed and for having like a, a self-contained it were they were essential but then we had like a problem because for some users it was essential to have like a single file to share your results easily then we did like an option to um, if you need to have your results all in a single file you can run pytest html with that option uh, self-contained html and then you'll have all your reports in a single file but if you don't but if you risk breaking a uh, content security policy so it's by by what we're going to use this report for is it are you going to use to shred the results or to show something like in Jenkins um, so the self-contained HTML is, is an option that you have and here there are some other enhancements that I we did during the internship uh, we uh, I did uh, uh, enhancement to future the test by its outcome using JavaScript. So if you have JavaScript allowed, you can just filter the results of uh, of the. You can filter the the result. Uh, you can like tr uh, how can I say? You can like choose what what outcome do you want to see. If you want to see only tests that pass it, only tests that skip it only tests that were skipped and failed, you can do that if you have JavaScript allowed. Uh, support to rerun plugin. So the rerun plugin is a big uh, PyTest HTML plugin, rerun failures, that rerun all the tests that failed. And before, you didn't have support to it, so if a plugin uh, reruns, you could not see um, the re uh, that in report. So we did the support rerun plugin. The rerun plugins use it to see flaky tests. Uh, exporting log and other other external that data oh, uh, and other data to external files. There was an issue on our GitHub repository asking for that enha enhancement. And as we did like for uh, the images to support uh, CSP, we did two other data as well, like JSON and text, uh, and also the logs. So you can like you can now like go uh, they create like a, te a text file, and then you can go there and get the the log. Uh, I think it was another enhancement that now the plugin is more like object oriented we have more classes because it before it was like just a file oh just a file with functions then we have like two classes outcome and test results outcome uh, is used when you want to add a new outcome and because of that you could like add the out the rerun outcome very quickly because it was a new outcome that was created and uh, and another enhancement was automatic testing to G to GS code. I'm actually working on that right now, but um, we are doing like um, testing to to GS code, like because before we have no ch tests, and then sometimes the GS uses to fail, and you have no control, and you already measured code with um, failing GS. So now it will be. Uh, automatic testing, and I started to write my own PyTest plugin, that's PyTest environment. Um, it's in an early stage, but this plugin is going to show um, the environment variables on a is on a on a uh, 
it's going to be exported because PyTest HTML now it, it gets the the environment variables and it, me, it needs to be enhanced the way that PyTest HTML does that. But it would be better if you have like a plugin only for that, and that what that is what I'm doing. So there are other enhancements other than main project. And this internship was not only technical. I did a lot. I did have a lot of fun. Not, but in technical also I had fun. Here's in Mozilla office. Here's in PyTest Sprint that I went to Freiburg, and there are pictures in London. It was uh, nice to know people, or to get to know people, to travel, to see other offices, and to go to all hands in London. So the the internship was not like only a technical internship one. And thanks. That's it. If you want to read more, um, goes to outreach.anaplusplus.com, which is my blog. So you can see it. And that was it. If you have any questions. <laughs> no? Were there any surprises? Uh, surprises. Um, let me see. Uh, maybe that I like it more than I, than I was expecting. <laughs> but I don't. I don't think I had surprises. It was uh, like um, and, uh, the surprise was like, is it already end up? Is it already by the end? I mean, it was not very. It was. That's planned, I would say.